All right, guys, I'm back with another one. Today, I'm going to be dropping some longer content for you guys. So on today's menu, we have a beef short rib pasta. Yes, that's right. Beef short rib pasta. Make sure you watch the video to the end. Let's get to it. All right, first, you want to get you some tomato paste. All of the seasoning and instructions will be in the comment box below or in the description box below. So don't worry if I'm moving too fast. I got you. So just want to add some olive oil to that. You're just going to mix it in really well. Then we're going to add our short ribs. All right, so then next you wanna add the seasons that you see on the screen. I use some Stop Your Mama Cajun seasoning, some paprika, salt, pepper, cumin, oregano, and I use garlic powder as well. Also, I added just a little bit more olive oil to the top of the, the short ribs just to blend the seasons in really good. All right, and you want to just pretty much get that. You wanna mix it in really well. All right, next, so now we're going to brown the short ribs. So we're not cooking them all the way, we're just getting them brown on each side. So we're gonna place the, the short ribs into the hot skillet. It's gonna get you about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then you're just gonna heat it up on medium high heat, and then we're just gonna brown them, all right? So just like this, you wanna make sure that the short rib is brown all around it, just like that, as you can see. All right, next we're gonna put it in the oven, all right? So I just got me a skillet. Just get your nonstick skillet, or you can use whatever pan you use for the oven, it's fine. And then you just wanna add you some beef broth. I added me a little beef broth to it, about a half a cup of the beef broth. All right, and then you're going to pretty much, we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna place it in the oven on 350 degrees for about an hour. All right, then next you want to add your noodles. We're gonna add that to some boiling hot water. We're gonna cook those for about nine to 12 minutes. And then once it's done, we're going to place those to the side and shock it with cold water as we start our sauce. All right, so now you want to get your sauce. We're just going to add a tablespoon of butter. We're going to mix that in really well. Then we're going to add us some minced garlic, some onions, and we're just going to saute those down really well. You don't have to mince the garlic. I uh, just chopped them, sliced them, or you can mince. It's up to you. Then you want to add your mushrooms to the pot as well. You're just going to saute those down for about three to four minutes. And then next, we're going to add our tomato paste. We're going to add like a tablespoon of tomato paste. We're just going to blend that in. You just want to make sure that the tomato paste and the, the vegetables are all blended in really good. So we're just going to mix that in for a couple minutes. And then next, we're going to add our heavy creamer. All right, so you're going to add about a cup of the heavy creamer. A cup, cup and a half of heavy creamer. Depends on how creamy you want it, how, how saucy you want your noodles. So it's really up to you. All right, and then after that, you're just going to start to add our seasonings. I used garlic powder, salt, onion powder, and I put some more slap your mom in there as well, guys. Just be careful with that and some lemon pepper seasoning. About a teaspoon of that, it's pretty spicy. Or you can use regular Cajun seasoning. All right, you just want to stir that in. We're going to bring that to a bubble. Once it starts to condense, we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. As you can see, I use fresh Parmesan cheese. You can use the package, it's up to you. It's just the Parmesan, the fresh Parmesan melts a lot better. All right, once the sauce is ready, you want to add the rest of your noodles back to the pot. If it's not enough sauce compared to the noodles, you can just add more creamer. That's why I said a cup to a cup and a half, because sometimes, you know, you just underestimate it. All right, and lastly, you want to pull out your short ribs. It's been an hour now. We're just going to chop those down and we're going to place those on top of the pasta. Just make sure you break it down really good. Just cut it as small as you would like or as big as you would like. And then you're just going to add it to the top of the pasta. You're going to mix it in and then you're going to add your garnishes. If you watch the video to the end, it should be a cakewalk. Just follow the instructions and the ingredients inside of the comment box below. Don't forget to like the video, follow Self Made Cook, and let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.